Hello everyone, dear friends. Today's review is about a smart LED strip that costs less than $10 for a 5 meter kit. The main advantage is that it is a completely ready to go kit at a low price. Secondly, it's not just a white LED strip, but a choice of color, including white. The third point is that it is a full-fledged participant in your smart home, which can participate in automation, be controlled and configured using the Tuya smart application. And the most interesting thing is that this LED strip is powered by a voltage of 5 volts, which allows you to connect it to a power bank and use it as a backup lighting source. Let's take a closer look at this LED strip, look at its capabilities in panoramic lighting, working in a smart home, automation and connecting it to the home assistant smart home. The supply of the kit is quite modest and you would still want a kit priced under $10 for 5 meters or around $7 for a 2 meter kit. Supplied in a small anti-static bag with a zipper. Inside there is a sealed instruction sheet on an A5 sheet. But you can't find fault with it, not only did the manufacturer write down all the characteristics of the tape, that's why they included instructions specifically for the Zigbee version of the smart tape. Next is the LED controller, this is essentially the brains of our device. There can be two connection options. The first is via the Wi-Fi protocol, then you won't need anything other than your Wi-Fi router and internet access. The second option is the Zigbee protocol, which is what I chose. Next is a plastic reel with an LED strip, in my version it is 5 meters. The controller has small dimensions of 65 by 25 millimeters, the oven is 12 millimeters. The total length of the cable is 70 centimeters. On the back there is a sticker with the connection protocol. They immediately wrote down the voltage for operation from 5 to 24 volts. It's a little strange that the power connector is a standard USB for connecting to a 5V charger. A 4-pin connector is used to connect to the LED strip. One common. Plus and three minuses, separately for each of the channels for controlling RGB LEDs. An important point, there is a small arrow on the connector. When connecting the tape, it must be aligned with the arrow on the tape connector. The back of the controller is smooth, which allows it to be fixed, for example, using double-sided tape on any flat surface to control the LED strip. And we could control it using a button located on the front of the controller. A single press of the button turns on the tape. Each subsequent press switches the color tape. If you press twice, the LED strip will turn off. The LED strip is wound on a small plastic reel. I bought 5 meters. Operating temperature from minus 20 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. The voltage is 5 volts and the stated power is 30 watts. I doubt that this is the case, let's check further. There is no protective layer on the LED strip, so use it outdoors without protection, class IP20. The tape is turned on using a 4-pin connector. Here is the arrow that needs to be aligned with the arrow on the controller. You can cut the tape in multiples of 1 LED or 35 millimeters. In fact, you can even leave one LED. There is adhesive tape glued to the back of the tape, which allows you to secure it in the place you need without any problems. This LED strip uses 5050 tricolor LEDs. In the description under the video, I leave a link where you can choose an LED strip with a cool white or warm white LED. Because in this tape, white color is obtained due to the inclusion of certain RGB colors. But I repeat, I took the lowest and cheapest smart LED strip. I didn't quite believe what was written in the instructions. Namely, about the 30 watts of power of this tape. Let's check it out. I set the glow color to red. The current is 0.6 amperes. The power is about 3 watts. Green color 0.4 amps and power 2 watts. Blue color, current 0.4 amperes, power also 2 watts. If we take white color, then the current and power will be the same. The maximum power is 3 watts, the current is about 600 milliamps when using red LED strip lighting. You can also control the operation of the LED strip manually using a button on the controller. A single press turns on the lighting, a double press turns it off. You can switch the color of the lighting. To do this, simply press the controller button once when the lighting is on. The colors change cyclically, if you turn off and turn on the lighting, it will turn on in the color you selected. The brightness can only be adjusted from a smartphone or by connecting to a smart button with a dimming function. Install and open the Tuya smart application. We connect power to our tape and it is immediately in pairing mode, namely blinking red. If this does not happen, put the tape into pairing mode. To do this, turn on and off the tape's power three times, turn on and off, and so on three times. After this, the application will either find a new device on its own or click plus at the top of the screen and select any device depending on the connection protocol. For me Zigbee, you can select a Zigbee outlet. 
After a few seconds, the device will be found and added to the Tuya Smart Smart Home ecosystem. In the main menu of Tuya Smart we can see the status of the device, whether it is on or off, so look at the countdown timer. When turning it off and on, the color and brightness do not change. Let's go inside the plugin. Here we see a button to turn the LED strip on and off. Below are three primary colors for quick selection, red, green and blue, but we can also add our own. To do this, select the desired color with your finger on the palette and press the add button. That's how I chose white. The current color of the LED strip is also displayed in the upper right corner. On the color palette you can choose almost any color for lighting. But since there is no white LED in the LED strip, the display of white color will be more bluish than white. Therefore, if you need pure white color, I recommend looking at the LED strip with an additional white LED in the description under the video. Under the color palette there is a brightness slider from 0 to 100%. The next menu is the menu for selecting lighting scenes. Here the garland can shimmer in different colors, change the color of the lighting and brightness. There are quite a lot of ready-made presets and everyone can choose the operating mode of the LED strip to suit their tasks and needs. The next menu is the light and music mode, just turn on the track on your smartphone or speakers. Select the selected mode and the LED strip will change color and brightness to the beat of the music. Let's go to the settings menu. The first point is the selection and configuration of various timers and operating time of the smart LED strip. You can choose a countdown timer, set a time to turn on or off, and choose the backlight in the morning or evening before bed. We can also set the default color after turning on the LED strip. Three parameters are available. Remember the last color, the default color, or you can set any color and brightness. By going to the Do Not Disturb menu item, you can activate the rest mode. Then, to turn on the lighting, you will have to turn the lighting on and off twice within five seconds so that the LED strip goes into normal operation. If the function is activated and the electricity is lost, the tape, despite the status set in the previous menu, will remain turned off. In the gradient settings menu, you can set a gradual increase in the brightness of the LED strip in the first setting, as well as a gradual decrease in brightness. This is useful if you use LED strip as a timed work. In the morning the light will gradually increase in brightness, and in the evening it will fade. In the general menu of the device, you can view information about the device, create a group with other similar devices, check and install updates. Let's see what this device can do in terms of automation and what parameters will be available to us. Let's go to the scenarios and select the time. Let our automation be time-based. Next, choose our smart LED strip. As you can see, in automation we have five different parameters available to us. The most important is the first one, turning the lights on or off. The next parameter is the choice of the glow mode, white, color scene mode or light music. You can set a timer and also activate the do not disturb function. The last parameter is the strength of the Zigbee signal, I don't understand why it is used in automation, but so be it. Choose Enable and Save Automation. Now at the specified time the LED strip will turn on. Let's see what the device can do in the Home Assistant Smart Home Ecosystem. We go to Devices and Services. We find the Tuya Smart Integration and reboot it. Next, we go inside and look for our LED strip. Let's go inside. Here we see a single on and off indicator. Current LED strip color. By clicking on it, a window opens in which we can turn the device on or off. Using the slider we can select brightness from 0 to 100%. Having opened the palette, we can choose the color of lighting we need. There are 8 color presets available at the bottom. The operation of the device is also logged. Now let's put the LED strip into pairing mode and try to connect directly to the Home Assistant Smart Home via the Zigbee 2 MQTT add-on. I use a Sunoff ZB dongle PUSB stick as a Zigbee gateway. Go to Zigbee 2 MQTT and enable device search. After a few seconds the device will be found. As you can see, the device is supported, model TS0503B, the picture has also been updated and matches the device. Thanks to constant power, the device also acts as a router in the Zigbee network. In the settings we can turn the device on or off. Change its brightness or lighting color. You can also choose one of the lighting effects. You can activate Do Not Disturb mode. And also set the device status after turning off the power. Let's check the direct binding mode. This is a mode in which two or more devices can work directly, 
without the need to connect to the internet. This is convenient for management if the internet channel in your home is unstable or absent. To test this I will be using a smart ZigBee button from Moe's. I'll leave the link in the description under the video. We switch the button to direct pairing mode and select our LED strip in the menu. Now a single click turns on the strip, double click turns off the LED strip. I installed LED strip in the kitchen. I fixed it temporarily to show what the effect of lighting would be in complete darkness. This is what it looks like. well, or this element of lighting decor near the TV. On the stairs it will look like this. Also secured temporarily. When using, I recommend buying a profile with a diverging lens, then the effect will be much better. I plan to make lighting in the corridor, but here I will need corners to correctly connect the LED strip, I don't have them, but I'll leave the link in the description. This is what the lighting looks like in a small corridor. As I said, I need it to just walk in the dark and not get caught on a dog or shoes. And as you can see, this smart LED strip copes with these tasks perfectly, you can even cut it to the length of the cabinet and don't bother with the corners. I haven't decided how to attach it yet, or I'll just fix it with double-sided tape, which is glued to the LED strip, or I'll use aluminum profiles with a diffuser. If you have any advice on how to do this beautifully, please write in the comments. For its price, I have no complaints about this device. In fact, for less than $10, you can get 5 meters of color LED strip with a controller and power from USB, which is quite an excellent price and result. This strip is not worth considering for full illumination, but in the description there is a link to a strip with a separate white LED, although I think its power will not be enough for full illumination. I bought this tape for fastening at the bottom of the cabinet, for decorative lighting and the lighting when you just need to walk through the corridor and it turns on based on the presence sensor. It fully performs this function. 
You can also make decorative lighting for the kitchen unit or bed in the bedroom and nursery. And according to the motion sensor, turn on this particular tape, and not the main lighting. I hope this video was useful to you and was able to tell you about all the capabilities of this smart LED strip. Links to products can be found in the description under the video, and I also invite you to join our group on Telegram, where you will find not only news about smart home systems but also current coupons and the opportunity to communicate as well as answers to questions. Please don't forget to like if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss other interesting videos about smart home systems and more. I wish you all a good day and see you again. Bye bye.